Once upon a time, a canopy of diverse flora provided a most needed shelter from direct sun rays to the crystal clear waters of Nanyuki River. But that was then, many years ago. Now, all that is left of the river is a spread of bare rocks, suspended roots of a lonely tree here, and another several meters away, if you are lucky. Thanks to human indiscriminate logging of indigenous trees over the years. But now, a community has awoken to the call of response to the damage already done. All is not lost, at least for the generations to come. Introducing our kids in planting trees. We have video work on who also planted a tree. She will be taking care of it. And I think if you want to change the community, you start with the new generation. It is through these kind of initiatives, self-driven by members of a community, that change shall be realized. Positive change. You know, the pandemiti in a manisha, a greater community, a greater environment. But you have in a society, you know, you are in a chain of global warming, and a summer global warming, and a chain of money. But come out of the Zanza Park of Grassroot, which is the more greedy, the local initiative that can bear and that will better make the happen. We want to plan for a season, we plant maize. If you are planning for a decade, you plant trees, and if you are planning for future, you educate children. The future's hopefulness depends totally on the actions of the present generation. <laughs>